Good morning, everybody, and how's everybody doing today? It's Friday. Finally Friday. So so today I have just a little bit of something I want to get done this morning. I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Um, my trailer that I pull my mowers with, uh, it needs some new taillights. Um, as you can see from this side here, you know, we backed into something and knocked that side off. This side over here is completely broken. So I do have looking over there again hold the camera this way <laughs> um i do have new tail lights new housings uh what i'm going to do for that is i'm going to actually leave this bracket on here this l bracket that's welded on there from factory they have four holes two for the wiring there and then two for bolting the uh your atypical trailer lights up i'm just going to utilize those holes there drill holes in my brackets and bolt my brackets or my uh, light boxes up and put them in i don't see any need for cutting those off welding mine on um, it's just a lot of work that is pretty much unnecessary as far as i'm concerned so uh, i do need to get my truck hooked up to the back this way guy i do need to get my truck hooked up to the trailer first uh, so you have a proper ground for your uh, lights to work, wiring those up. I bought these lights a while ago and I don't remember, of course me, I opened up the package and threw the packaging away and everything else. And I don't remember what wire is what on those lights. So uh, I'm gonna have to get those lights cut off and then see which uh, wire is what on the uh, lights that I purchased. Um, I do need to get my wife's straw off the trailer too, so she can do her little autumn scene out front. So, uh, right now, I guess I should first off get my truck, uh, hooked up to the trailer and get that started. I have here is a two by six inch uh, stop brake light. These are a new, I don't know how you want me to see it, but anyway, these are a new halo style um, uh, brake light for a trailer with your one, two, three, four, five, six LEDs in the center. Didn't really know, I guess I could look three and three. And then it has a halo style uh, lighter on the outside. I don't remember which one is which as far as. Uh, Halo is running, and then both of them on together is brake. Uh, I did notice here on the back that it is marked as far as ground and tail, and then stop and turn on the bottom here. So if you unplug these, like so, um, you can see that this black wire is going to this outside. So that one is going to be the tail light is your black. This is going to be your stop and turn is your red. And then on uh, trailer applications, white is always your ground. So um, a lot of times your trailer will ground through your truck, hooking it up to the ball. But most of the time, neighbors driving by, had to wave. Uh, most of the time you definitely want a ground hooked up uh, to your trailer so it can uh, ground through the ball or and then also a ground within your plug too. I do run the, the two inch round seven flat on my trailer uh, so that includes a ground also. Um, and even the four flats have a ground in them also. Uh, so right now, you know, you need a 7 16th to get this light off. And then I also have the little side marker lights too, to put in my boxes. Um, right here, this is, I picked these up off of eBay for like 22 bucks. This is what I'm gonna use. So you'll have your brake tail in there like that. And then you'll have 
your side marker light in there like that. So everything should look pretty good. Take this light off here for now. This is just a 7 16 Then we'll take and cut this off. The back of these lights are marked too. Um, you can see right here is stop and turn for the yellow, and the brown is your tail. So I'm just going to cut that off and leave a little bit within that housing. That way we know which one is which. And then we can pull this wire through because we're, it's actually going to be coming in the side of the box right there uh, I forgot to pick up uh, a three can't see that back here can you uh, I forgot to pick up a three-quarter inch grommet so what I'm going to do is just shove the wire through some hose tape it on both ends and then that will be in there like that and not allow the wire to ride on that sharp metal edge so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this up here like this um, it may not look the best. I don't know if I like it, but we're going to roll with it. You can see how that sticks out a little bit. I don't like that. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know. I may take and cut some of that off so it sits up flush. Don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? don't really like the way that fits. So I guess I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Uh, hmm. What? I don't know. If that sits in there all like that, i got to find a good place to mount these lights, and I just don't know where I'm going to do it at. I think I will cut. <laughs> Go over this way. I think I will take and cut that off clean it up a little bit, throw some black paint on it. Okay, as you saw, what I decided to do was go ahead and cut that top lip off there and uh, mount it in just a little bit closer and tighter um, I guess OCD maybe well, I, I don't know. still don't like it but it'll work for now over the winter I may change it and move them someplace else and mount them someplace different um, I kind of like them putting them down here on the fender like so I may move them there over the winter but uh, for right now, uh, this has to be some, uh, kind of a quick job and uh, get this done because I have yards that need mowed. We've had uh, quite a bit of pretty good dry spell here lately, but uh, the grass is still growing, uh, starting to pick up. We've had just a little bit of rain, so I do need to get this uh, done fairly quick. So. Um, yeah that's where we're at so right now i'm going to hold that box up there and mark the back of it so i can drill my holes you see i drill got my two spots there marked so i can drill those holes in there okay i found a couple of carriage bolts uh, i need four of them and get everything buttoned up here uh, what i have is a different way of doing it from what I had originally planned uh, what I'm gonna do is actually I drilled a hole in here and then I drilled another hole in here and I'll run my wires through from there to there how it comes up through the trailer just trying to get this done um, probably shouldn't have 
started something like this in the morning when I want to go and start mowing, but uh, it's usually how I do things. It's kind of on a whim. Um, kind of a boring video. I know it's not about my truck, but I thought it'd be kind of informative for people who uh, may want to see it. So right now I can do my wiring now. What I have is a soldering connection. I like to use these. What it does is as you heat it up, it melts this heat shrink through here. And then also there's a little bit of solder right there. If you can see that, it melts that solder and you get a soldered connection. Um, by just using a small little heat gun. So uh, what I need to do is the black is the turn and tail. So that needs to be hooked to the brown wire on the driver's side. So the two blacks is which is your, your tail light, not turn and tail, I'm sorry, just tail light. Uh, your blacks, which is your tail lights on your new lights and your brown, which is your uh, light on, or the the tail lamp on the trailer wiring itself. So those need to be hooked together, and then uh, the red and the yellow will be hooked together. Hopefully this works out in my favor. So all I do is, I use just a little bit of torch here, turn that on, light it, and start heating. Try and hold your heat back away a little bit because it will burn because you're using an open flame. It suggests using a heat gun for this. Well, I don't own a heat gun. I need to go buy one. And don't know if you can see that, but that's right there what you end up with a nice soldered connection. And once that cools off, you'll have a nice solid soldered connection. So then your yellow wire and your red wire need to go together. And then I'll hook the two whites together and I'm actually going to take one of those carriage bolts out and put just a regular bolt in there and then I'll ground it to the back right there. Um, I'll put both these white wires in one eyelet. So your yellow is your stop and turn. So those two actually need to go together. If I can fit both of them through there what I like to do is strip enough back, strip enough off like this Pull that off there, you know, like that. When you're soldering, it just helps hold everything together. Is take and turn this like so. See how I made that little hook in there? And then slide that on there. I'll take this wire and bend it over and make a hook also. Then I have everything hooked together like that and it helps hold everything together. Slide my soldered connection about right there and do that one. You can see the shrink melts quicker than what the solder does so that's why you got to continuously move hold it back just a little bit let that cool off a little bit and then this one will go through here and plug into my little light 
cut this eyelet off. I don't have any of them soldered connections for the eyelets. They do make them, I just don't have any. So I'm just going to use a regular old crimp connection. Slide that in place like so. And crimp everything together. So I need to take one of these carriage bolts out. Put a regular nut and bolt in there. That'll go in here like so. Go through there like so. And do that. And then this one over here just gets pushed through. These already come pre-greased with uh, dielectric grease on them. We're going to switch those around because as you can see, I don't have enough space to get this plugged in. Either that or I'll loosen it up and just turn that eyelet. So we're going to try that first. There, that gives me a little bit more room there where I can uh, plug that in. I guess push in there like that. Those go in there like that. There is one side complete. So that's what it will look like. So that's what they are. You can see how uh, the halo is the running light and the LEDs are the turn signals. And then there's the side clearance light. So those look a lot nicer than that. And you can see my bulb is actually blown on that side. So uh, yeah, this is something that is quite needed, uh, very much so. So guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, gonna get the other side done and get my mower loaded up and go get to work because right now I am running behind. It is. 9:30, so uh, I usually start mowing around nine o'clock. Uh, been lucky enough that the grass has been dry on the weekends where I can get started early. So, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching very much. I know it's an off-subject video, um, but hopefully it helps somebody uh, get their job done. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I read them uh, except for there was one gentleman that I accidentally deleted uh, I know his first name was uh, I'm sorry I, I believe his first name was Jesus and he asked me on the dimensions for uh, my bumper brackets so I will not give those out because I didn't make them I purchased them so I just I don't feel comfortable giving somebody else's product out. I mean at $89.95 for the bare brackets, you guys really can't go wrong. So guys, once again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. We will talk to you guys later on. Bye. -bye.